What is going on everyone? I'm Des with DesFit and this is the international version of the AmazeFit Stratos aka Pace 2 aka the Unicorn. Now the reason I'm calling it the Unicorn is because for those of us in non-Chinese speaking countries we've had to wait a very long three plus months or so for the international version to come out of this extremely exciting device. So the reason that I'm particularly excited about this device is that it seems to be extremely attractive from what I've seen so far. It has both a touchscreen as well as three physical buttons, but the biggest thing really for me is that it has VO2 max, training load, and some other features developed by a company called Firstbeat. And Firstbeat is the company that develops a lot of the technologies that you'll find in more advanced garments, all at a very, very low price. So without further ado, let's get this unboxed. So before we look inside, we do have the multi-sport tracking, we do have the wrist-based heart rate, it does have onboard GPS, it will have smart notifications of some sort. This is gonna be the first of the first beat features with VO2 max. It is gonna be water resistant down to five atmospheres. It's gonna have four gigabytes of onboard music storage, I believe four gigabytes, and then up to five days of battery life. All right, here we go, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited. So this is a pretty simple box, but oh boy, that is a nice little case right there. So as we lift the watch as well as this top portion out, we're gonna have a charger and this is going to be something that you're just gonna place the watch on and boom, the unicorn. So before turning it on, gosh, the first impressions of this, this is well worth $200. The build quality of this is absolutely phenomenal. Comparing this to the, I think, $180 TickWatch S, which I just reviewed, yeah. I believe the weight is gonna be 70 grams on this guy, and it's a very nice weight. The watch itself is a little bit larger than I thought it was going to be, but let's power this on and set it up. So during the pairing procedure, it will start to go through quite a few things here. It'll have the support for pool swimming, open water, and triathlon, which is gonna be all those multi-sport modes. The next thing is gonna be the VO2 max estimates, which we'll have to compare with my Phoenix 5X, which I've been using almost for a year now. It looks to have quite a comprehensive data field layout. Then it's going to have real-time coaching, which I'll have to try out as well. And then finally, training effect. So that took maybe two to three minutes at most, and the watch is already on, so I'm super impressed there. However, we do have a new firmware, so while we're waiting for the watch to update, the one thing I really was curious about is this right here. Yeah! So I guess one more thing to talk about here is that this comes with a ton of features in a very attractive, extremely well-built package. Now, why is it only $200 where you're gonna be paying, let's say, $300 for an equivalent Garmin? Well, it really probably comes down to the smartphone app. And from my understanding, it doesn't appear that the smartphone app really has any social type interactions like Garmin Connect does with their connections. However, as we just saw, it does integrate with Strava, so that really could be pretty huge. All right, so far it's been about four to five minutes for the firmware update. Let's talk about this hardware. So this ceramic case with this carbon fiber finish, good lordy, that is extremely attractive. There's gonna be this like silver dark gray bezel on the outside. This is a lot darker than I was expecting. I think that a lot of the images and video that I've seen so far have a lot of reflection, so it's gonna come back looking a lot more silver than it is kind of this slate color. The buttons are quite nice. Uh, I have to say that this button has like a little lip on it, which is a little bit odd to me, but all of them do have a very positive click to them. These are gonna be the removable watch straps. I think these are standard 22 millimeter, or 20 millimeter, one of the two. Really easy to take on and off. Seems like a nice buckle right here. So while this is powering up, we could talk about the display here, which is quite attractive. It's gonna be a transflective display, just like a lot of Garmin. So it's not gonna have a lot of contrast that you're gonna see like on a Samsung Gear or an Apple Watch or even the Fitbit Ionic or Versa for that matter. But it is probably gonna be the most versatile display in the sense that you will definitely be able to see it in direct sunlight and you'll be able to see it indoors as well, sometimes with a backlight, of course. Okay, so update successful. Let's go ahead and check this out. There's release notes. Uh, let's see here. This is gonna be 2.3.2.7, and it's gonna add tennis, soccer, as well as skiing. Uh, there's gonna be interval training for running activities. Uh, it's gonna be long press the lap key, blah, 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 blah. All right, but like I said earlier, this is gonna be a transflective display. So what I can tell already is that the blacks right in here, you can tell they're just not terribly black. But I do have to say that for being a transflected display, this is quite attractive in terms of the detail because it is 300 by 300 pixels. 
So the interface does seem to be somewhat similar to the Sunto Spartan Sport Rich HR Barrel. <laughs> Still, that name is crazy. But as we press the middle button right here, we get into the activity profiles, which we have running, walking, cycling, pool swimming, open water swimming, running indoors, indoor cycling, elliptical trainer, climbing, like hiking, climbing, trail run, triathlon, skiing, tennis, soccer. And then what's great is that you will have the battery percentage right up top when you're going to start an activity with the estimated time as well as mileage apparently. So as we swipe from the left from the actual clock face, we're gonna see sports, I guess, right here. Activity history, then your daily overview, and then that's it for the stuff on the left. And then to the right, we're gonna have uh, your instant heart rate, the weather, uh, the music, alarms, sleep, and then it looks like it has a little bit more robust menu here with training stopwatch timer and compass. But seriously, at such a low price point, this thing will have to fail miserably <laughs> for me to not recommend it. So far, I am incredibly impressed to see what they've come out, at least on the hardware side for that very low price tag. And we're gonna have to see how this performs with all those fitness features. So if you're new to the channel and haven't seen some of my more popular reviews like the Vivoactor 3, Apple Watch Series 3, as well as the Samsung Gear Sport, I tend to go into quite a bit of detail and I like to test everything really thoroughly and try to test as many of the activities as possible as well. So thank goodness I'm pretty much done testing the Fitbit Versa, the Fitbit Ionic Adidas Special Edition, as well as the 400 645 because I am super excited to check out this device. So stay tuned for my full fitness review as well as the smartwatch experience of the Amazfit Stratos that's coming soon. Mm -hmm.